Good morning. Welcome to Morning Moxie with Larissa. I am excited to talk to you about life. It's so, I want to encourage you to make time for your best life. And I'm actually reminded of the very first coaching book I read, which was Take Time for Your Life by Cheryl Richardson. Now, I don't know what made me buy the book, but she had uh, one really great idea that has stuck with me. Now, this is not to say I've embraced it perfectly, but every time I follow that list and I do something, I am reminded about the book, which is why I'm sharing it with you today. And the key point or one of the key points in the book was to, you know, we all have those things that we're going to do, you know, when we get time or, you know, when we get around to it, I wanted to make you a little round to it because that was some class I took and they said, here, here's a round to it. But um, make a list of all those things that are just bugging you and start knocking them out. And now that's super simple, but we don't ever do it, right? Because we're just too busy doing other things, empire building or taking care of family, whatever we're doing, working, oh yes, breathing. Um, but today I did something, I did two somethings back to back. And so that's again, why I was reminded now, I'm actually just getting back from a weekend getaway with my sister and spending time with my sister reminds me of my failings, if you will. Because even though she woke me up, I asked her to wake me up at eight o'clock so we could not sleep away the vacation hours, our time together. She had already done the research on what we were going to have for breakfast, checked the ratings, gotten the directions or whatever, so we could you know, head out immediately once Sleepyhead got her act together. Um, but she's very efficient. And so, um, so not this past weekend, but the weekend before I actually had a garage sale and I've been in this house for three years and I've said, I need to have a garage sale. So it only took me three years to get it going, but I finally did it. Right. And you probably had the same stack of stuff sitting over there in the corner or, and if you don't want to do a garage sale, cause it does take a lot out of you. I was exhausted. Who knew there was so much bending? I suppose, cause my body parts were aching, but whether it's a garage sale or taking things to Goodwill or the Salvation Army, I bet you have a lot of stuff that you've been intending to get rid of when you get around to it. So I'm giving you a round to it. Here you go, it's round, here's your to it. Uh, go get it done. Now, the reason this is important is because, first of all, it's probably taking up space you could use, but I've also read that you have to get rid of clutter so you can now better things to come into your life, right? So I should be pretty bountiful because the other thing that was bugging me, I had an ugly tree in front of my house and I never liked the tree. And I think that at some point someone had chopped off one side of it because it must've been casting shade on the neighbor's house. And so it was lopsided among any other crimes that it had. But the important thing is that it was blocking my front door, which is bad feng shui. I couldn't let the good chi through. So Good fortune should be mine any minute, I'm sure. But between the garage sale and chopping down that tree today, as a matter of fact, after my exhausting ride back home, um, I'm feeling very accomplished and I've already unpacked. So today is mine. But beyond my chore list is that the reason you want to do these things is because your brain is a supercomputer. So even while it's not front of mind, it is back there, whatever's on your list, your massive to-do list or all these things that are bugging you, your brain is still working on them, even in your subconscious. And so it's like, I feel that it's taking away the energy from your today life. So get rid of all those energy sapping vampires, or I call them hanging chads, unfinished tasks, right? That weren't Maybe you started, but you didn't quite finish. Because if your brain is spending time churning and churning and churning, trying to get rid of the little stuff, how much is that taking away from the big things that you need to do? You need energy to conquer the world. I hate to tell you, it does take a lot. So get rid of the little stuff or have someone get rid of the little stuff for you that is bugging you and just hanging out there so that you can concentrate on the things that matter most. 
Could be your family, could be your relationships, could be your business. Get that sales call done. Do your promotion calendar. So there are many other more important things that you should be concentrating on. And I'm sorry, I'm not using the word should, but there are so many other things that could be making use of this wonderful computer that you have locked away upstairs. So let your brain focus on the important things, not on the little things that are draining your energy and your vitality. So I hope that you will make time for your life. And that has been today's Morning Moxie with Larissa. I hope you've appreciated this reminder. Maybe share it with a friend who could use this reminder. If we're busy, we know everybody else is busy. So, and if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe because you know we need to feed the algorithm. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Ciao.